Hey everybody, my name's Helen and today we're going to look at um, some core exercises so to improve your core stability. So core stability is the ability of our trunk to support uh, the rest of our body so it can carry out its movements in the safest and strongest way. Now, all the different things that a mountain bike course can throw at you means that you're forever having to shift your weight and adjust your body. So building this solid foundation of core stability is really important. Um, as always, uh, if any of these exercises cause you any pain, please stop, replace it with something that you know you can do that won't hurt you. Um, everyone has previous injuries, so please listen to your body. Um, so let's get warmed up. So just follow along with me. We're gonna do three, four minute warm up. Then we're gonna do a nine minute block followed by another four minute block all working our core. So have fun and just follow along with me uh, as best you can. So for the warm up, we're gonna start with 10 total body extensions. So a nice total body movement. We're gonna take the arms down to the ground and lift them up. <sighs> Trying to get nice and warm. <sighs> Seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice, from here, hands behind the head, we're just gonna do some squats, get nice and warm. Nine, and 10. Coming to the back of our mat, we're going to do a roll down. So we're gonna start engaging the core a little bit more, rolling down, feeling a nice stretch in the back of your legs, rolling down, walking your hands out, engaging the core, heels towards the back of the room, head towards the front of the room, and then push up the bum to come back. Let's do five of those. more. Nice. This time I'm just going to roll it down and come to all fours where we're going to wake up the spine a little bit. So cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back, open the shoulder blades. more. Great, from here, nice, solid, four, all fours foundation. We're gonna take the right arm forward, thread the needle, and open up the chest. Five times. Nice thoracic spine mobility. One more time. Nice, changing sides, reach forward, and then come in and thread the needle. Open up, thread the needle, open up. Three, four, five. Nice, we're just gonna come down to our belly, where we're gonna do a nice cobra position and relax. Two more times. Cobra, relax. Really using the strength of your back, not pushing into your hands too much. And coming into a nice, active child's pose. We're really just going to reach the hands as far forward as possible. Coming up to kneeling. We're just gonna do some rotations. Really waking up that core, that spine. Right, we're just gonna go one time through again. Let's get nice and warmed up. So total body extensions. Let's just go for five. Eight. 
into five squats. Getting that heart rate up. Into five roll downs. Core engaged. Making the most of that nice glute and hamstring stretch. Something that most cyclists and everybody need. One more of these, but this time when we come to plank, we're going to put our knees on the ground, cat cow for five. Last one, waking that spine up, reach forward, thread the needle. Changing sides, reach forward, thread the needle. Beautiful chest opener. Great for your posture. Great, now coming into Cobra. Just gonna do three, lifting up our lower back. Being kind to our lower back. Child's pose. Really active in those arms. Reach forward with the tips of your fingers. And coming into some kneeling rotations. Just getting that spine ready for what's coming. And look over your back shoulder. Great, wonderful. Well, I hope you warmed up. Now we're going to go into a, a core workout. So it's going to take us about nine minutes. There's no timer. We're going to work on repetitions. There's five exercises. I'm going to take you through those now. So the first one is shoulder taps. We're going to come into a really solid plank position, like a push up plank position here. And from here, we're going to touch our opposite shoulders. Trying to imagine we've got a glass of water on our back, so not moving our hips too much. Really solid. Wrist, elbow, shoulder nicely aligned. For our second exercise, we're going to go onto our back. It's called a dead bug because it looked like a dead bug. Um, first things first, you're going to tilt your pelvis so your back is really flush with the mat. This is super important. We don't want your legs out here. You want you really lift up your bum so your back is really flush. You're gonna bend your knees at 90 degrees and have your arms up in the air. So for a level one, if you're a beginner, keep your head on the ground. Level two, I want you to lift up those shoulders, really looking at the sky, not crunching down, really opening up the space in between your chin and your sternum. From here, we extend the leg and the opposite arm, bringing it in. So we're crossing over. So that's our second exercise. Third exercise, Russian twists. So level one, keep your heels on the ground. Level two, raise your little heels up and we're just gonna come and twist to either side. Okay. Then we're going to come back to this plank push-up and we're gonna do oblique mountain climbers. So really working the side of our core, the obliques here. So coming here, we're going to come elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow. well knee to elbow more like. Again, imagining you've got that glass of water on your back, so you're really solid, stable. We don't want any bums coming up into the air. And last one, we're going to be working on our lower back for doing supermans. 
So here, arms and legs reached out. I want you to imagine you've always got a pull-up bar and you're trying to pull yourself over it. You don't need to come up too high. We just really need to work on that lower back. It's just as important as these nice ab muscles that you get to see, but the back needs to be just as strong. So we're going to do those five exercises, 10 reps of each, five rounds. So try and work at my rhythm. We'll try and go together. It should take us about nine minutes. Um, but if you can't work at my rhythm, just go at your pace. We're going to try and get five rounds in. And once you're a bit more of an expert, you can start telling me down below in the comments how fast you can go through the five rounds. But the aim here isn't to go super fast. It's really to be really tight in the core, stable, aligned, really thinking about what we're doing, not just doing it as fast as we can. Right, we ready? Everyone get in position, take a drink if you need one. And we're gonna start with our shoulder taps. So 10 reps, ready in three, two, one, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Onto our backs. Each exercise is pretty short. Make sure you're lifting up that bum, rolling it back, getting your back flush with the mat. Dead bug. It's a lot of coordination here, so to really think. Nice, Russians. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oblique mountain climbers. Back into our push up plank position. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lowering everything down. Superman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice, round one done. All we need to do is push ourselves back up. Shoulder taps, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, coming onto our backs. Lifting that bum up, pulling that belly button in, reaching up to the sky. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, coming up to seated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Flying through this, back to our oblique mountain climbers. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Core mates start getting a little shaky. One, Superman. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, straight back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like a never ending mountain bike course, this ab workout. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, coming up to seated as safely as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oblique mountain climbers. We're over halfway. We've got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo! Straight to Superman's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Legs lifting up as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pushing straight back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep going. Dead bug. Core pulled tightly in. Try and get that belly button to the ground. Back, back is flat with the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming up safely. You can put your hands on the back of your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Oblique mountain climbers. Straight into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Superman's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last round, everybody. We got this. Pushing it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming to dead bug. One. That back is flush with the ground. It's way more important than everything else. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming up safely, holding onto the back of our legs, rolling it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Last two exercises. I hope you're all keeping with me. If not, do it at your own pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last one. Superman's lie down. Give that lower back some love. Ten. Nice. Well done, everybody. That was a really cool, intense, I think we did it in about nine minutes. I have to check after we've edited the video. So um, well done everyone, but it's not finished. We're gonna do a finisher, uh, cause I'm sure you've not had enough and we always need some more core. So we're gonna do a finisher now where we're going to alternate a static isometric plank and a dynamic plank. So I'm just gonna show you the movements very quickly because we're gonna have a very short time for change around because we're gonna do 25 seconds work, five seconds rest. So it's literally the time Put your knees down for a breather and come straight back up. So we're going to start, we're going to rotate all the way around. We're going to start on our front and we're going to do walking out planks. We're going to walk out, back, out, back. As soon as it beeps, the next one, static, holding plank, squeezing those glutes, belly button pulled back to the spine. One long line from the crown of the head to the heels. Then we come onto our side. So we're going to come into a side plank position. 
Um, so for those of you that can, we're going to come up onto our feet like this. If not, we can come use our knees, come down onto our knees or even put one foot in front of us. That's fine. Wherever you are, you dip. We're going to do 25 seconds of this side plank dip. And then as soon as it beats, 25 seconds holding a beautiful, nice side plank. Then we turn onto our backs and we're going to get into this um, dead bug position. So making sure our back is fl flush with the, um, with the floor first. First things first, keep that back safe. Then on we're going to lift up the arms and from here, we're going to kick the legs without arching. So you might be kicking up here, that's fine. If you can get lower without arching the back, that's great. And as soon as it beeps, we're going to hold this position. Back flush to the mat, belly button in, hold. If you can hold here, that's fine. If you can hold here, that's fine. If you want to go two legs, that's fine. And then we'll do the same on the other side with the dips and the static, okay? So it's intense. It's going to last four minutes. It's going to finish off this um, really fun, um, different core workout for, um, for cyclists. Right, we ready? Let's go in 10 seconds. So we're going to start with that walking out plank. Two and one, walk it out, bring it back. Really solid in your plank. Change the leading arms. Imagine you've got that glass of water on your back, pulling that belly button tight and you're squeezing in those glutes. Two and one. Knees can go down for a few seconds and we're going straight back up, plank hold. If you prefer to do this on your forearms, go for it. Forearm plank, that's absolutely fine. Getting space between those shoulder blades, keeping the pelvis tucked in, squeezing those glutes, pulling in that belly button. Five more seconds. Two and one, great. Coming to our side, it's a finisher, so you're gonna be finished by the end of this. Dips. Remember, you can be on your knees at any time. Nice. Lower everything down and we're straight back up into a beautiful side plank. I always think here in side plank that I need to be able to fit my body in between two walls so my bum can't be out, my hips can't be forward. I'm in a perfect long line. Heels are pushing to the back of the room. In three, two, one, lower, nice. Onto our backs. Flutter. So the, if the easier you want it to, if it'll be easier if your arms are at the front, if you want a little bit more difficulty, taking your arms over your head with your shoulders off the mat. Back flush with the mat. Flutter kicks. Nice. And we're gonna hold, get into that dead buck position and then find your hold. If it's here, pulling that belly button in tight, lower back flush to the ground. Find your hold, get those el uh, shoulders up off the ground. Great. Now onto the other side. Straight into it, dips. We're nearly there, don't worry. <laughs> Nice dynamic planks. Three, two, one. Take a few seconds. 
straight back up into most beautiful side plank of the day because it's the last one. I want you to imagine you're picking up this, the little love handles, picking them up off the floor. You're trying to pull them up. If you're on your knees, that's fine. Just keep at it. Pulling in your oblique muscles, pulling all this in tight. And stop. Amazing effort, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me for this core workout. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty varied. We worked hard. Um, leave any comments below if you have any questions or any comments. And I'll see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye.